Hello, this is Linda from Scullywag Astrology and I'm going to walk you through how um, to use Solify to some of the basic features. So when you have any natal chart or an event chart, doesn't matter what sort of chart, if it's just one and you click on it, it will come up with whatever you have selected as a default for uh, a uni chart. If you want to change that, you don't like that, you want to go to something else, Say, say for example, you threw up a horary chart. You might want to look at a horary chart, or you might be interested in the solar return if you want to do chart art, I suppose. Um, there's cosmobiology. There's all sorts of things here. Asteroids. Oh wow, look at that. Huh. Um, but. You can be all sorts of things. If you want to change it, you just need to go into a chart. So just say that's there, which might be, I don't think that is the basic one that Solify gives you, but we'll use that as an example. So you go to Pages over here. You click on Edit. I'm going to move that up there. And you can add objects such as what have we got here we could move add in something like hmm, a half grid aspect grid any of these things you can click on and just adjust the size And you can just right click. No, nope, it's not going to do it. But you can add here something, anything that has flexible after it is editable. So I'm going to put points list flexible and add it there. You can see it's quite a big list. But, and I'll just show you what it looks like. Save as. I'm going to do what? example chart save and yours might not come up like that it might come up as a list so I'm just going to go apply go to pages those sorts of things usually show up in um, the added recently section oh it did show up for that one that's brilliant Okay, so that's what that looks like. This is the flexible um, points list. If we don't do anything to it, it's got a lot of things that I am not interested in and it's got the glyphs on both sides, which I don't want. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to edit it and you can just right click and edit flexible list columns or you can go up here and object edit flexible list columns. So what you do, there's all these options here. These are all the things that you can put in the uh, flexible list columns for this one. Uh, and if you want to add, you would highlight it and then bring it over here. And if you want to get rid of it, you just do this. So I don't want that second point symbol. Uh, longitude, minutes and retro, that's actually gives you the zodiac sign <clears throat> with the uh, degrees and minutes. I'm not interested in daily travel at the moment, or the latitude, or the right ascension. I'm going to get rid of that. And I might be interested in something like when, what's the relative speed, and what have we got? Distance to the next station and the position of the next station when that planet will station retrograde again. So save. And you can see here we've got point, glyph, the longitude, the speed, when the next station will be, which 
that's not what I wanted. I wanted it in actual time, like how many days, and what the next uh, zodiac position, the next station will be. So I'm going to go in and edit that again. So edit, right click, I must have picked the wrong one. Oh, okay, I selected distance to next station. What I actually wanted was time to next station. So I'll put that there. Now, if I want that above that, I just highlight that and then I click one of these buttons and go up or down. So just save that and apply. And you can see it's now days. Um, okay, I could also, if I uh, didn't want, if I'm not interested in the IC, the Descendant, um, the Ascendant, MC and Part of Fortune when they're going to next station, because why would I be? I can go in and edit that. So right click, edit flexible columns. Okay, so this is where all the technical data sits for each of these sections. So in this one, I'm going to change this to from modern rulership to traditional. I'm also going to change the points files, which is just, you know, which one. The standard one in there, if we click on this, it will open that list. And it's not showing me anything, so I'm going to go into Pages. Let's see. Let's see, what will it be? Places. It'd be in points, I imagine. So, I'll look here, and these will be already on. So let's see if I've got something just about planets. So I'm going to select that. And that requires that you know what um, what planets is in your settings. So if I go here and look at chart options and look at displayed points, if we go to planets which is this one here, you will see that it's Moon, Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto, all those ones. If I had selected, say, Planets, Ascendant and MC, you can see that is exactly what's happened there. And you can add all sorts of different ones. We could add Cupido, Hades, all sorts of things. I'm going to click out of that. But I'm going to go into this planets one and edit it so you can see. I'm going to add uh, Ceres and Juno and Pallas. If I save that because that's the uh, points file that I selected. And when I go to the page, added recently, example chart, you will see that they're now there as well. So, what you could add here, oh, that's not what I wanted. You can add a points listing because I have no idea what some of those symbols are. Edit. I would just get rid of that. And I mean, I could do it on this one, but. I find it's helpful to have the long name for if you're giving it to clients. Where is long name? Planet's long name. Points full name. There we go. So if you put it up there, file, save, apply, you can see now we can see that's the symbol for Pallas, that's Juno, that's Ceres. 
um yeah oh and what you can do you can go into preferences and edit the settings and if you come to view the view menu you can select what you want the current chart to be so if i wanted that to be the current chart i would go in here and look for it the current one is hellenistic with bounds but if i can find that chart example where is that example chart every time i open something up it will come up with that until I change it. Okay, um, but I'm going to go back in, display user points. That's not the one I wanted. Chart options, preferences, that's what I wanted. And I'm going to change that back to Hellenistic with bounds. And now you can see it goes back to that. And that's that. I hope it was helpful. I'll do some others uh, soon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.